good evening, everyone. So glad that you could come. So glad that you're here, Kathy. So glad that as we get a chance to just pause in the midst of Lent, not quite to the celebration yet, but realizing that people have hope that we are headed in that direction. We have this wonderful opportunity in this meeting house to pause, to reflect, to think, to pray. We're grateful to you, Kathy. And I wanted to say a couple things because recognizing that we only really have only a few more weeks with you after seven fabulous years of ministry, but I'm not going to cry and I'm not going to go into that right now. But one of these wonderful times for us to celebrate who you are and your amazing gifts and how they've been a part of the life of the church for all these years. And so glad that you're here. Glad we get a chance for you uh, through your organ recital to set our hearts and our minds towards uh, to God. And then, uh, and then following your time of, of sharing your gifts, we'll spend some time together as, in prayer for our own hearts and for the, the lives of the world. So God, come and meet us here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll actually start by singing a hymn together. So if you, you don't need to stand if you're not able or don't want to, but hymn 221.
Now for the second part of the program, we will be doing selections from Bach's Orgel book line, which is known as the liturgical year. Bach set chorales for the entire church year from Advent all the way through Pentecost. And what this is, is the Lenten portion. And Paul is gonna help me out. He will sing each chorale for you. Um, you have the English text in the program, but he will sing in German before each one. And one thing that's interesting to note is that Bach, almost all of these are set in a canon, which means that the two hands and feet, or sometimes the two hands are in canon with each other. And I think he thinks of this as the biblical canon. He's showing his skills in composition, but also his incredible religiosity. So these are seven of the Lenten chorales, and then we're gonna end with the first of the Easter chorales.
I know it's not appropriate, but I want to applaud. But I want to applaud not just your gifts and just the wonderful, and holy mackerel, you just continue to surprise me of just the amazing talent that you have, Paul. Thank you for creating this space for us to, to ponder these words, even as it was sung in German and these beautiful notes that were played on this amazing instrument that just got tuned today, by the way. Just got tuned today. It sounded fantastic. We got to enter into a deeper understanding and reflection of what this Lenten journey can be for us, the message that it powerfully offers to us. As we thank you for this time of this recital part and the sharing of these words, I hope that you also grabbed as you're coming in the second sheet that also says the Lenten Prayers 2023 at the top. I hope that if you don't have them, there are some at a table right there behind. I would like to lead us now in a time of prayer as we kind of turn towards our own hearts and minds and turns our spirits towards, towards God. I'm going to share a little bit about Lent, which we'll gives you time to go get that paper if you don't already have it. I remind you, my friends, that the season of Lent is a time of prayer, of fasting, and self-examination. Also, a time of giving alms, the care for the needs of the world around us. In this time of self-examination, in preparation for the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus at Easter, it's a period of 40 days, like the, the flood of Genesis and Moses' sojourn at Mount Sinai, Elijah's journey to Mount Hereb, Jonah's call to Nineveh to repent, and Jesus' time of testing in the wilderness. 40 days, biblically, means that God is doing something in our midst. So every time we come to the journey of Lent, we are reminded that God wants to do something in our midst if we open our hearts and open our minds. God is a gracious God and reminds us that Sundays in Lent are not counted in the reckoning of the time between Ash Wednesday and Easter, as every Lord's Day is a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I almost want to say amen to that, don't you? Lent is a time to prepare ourselves once again to embrace the significance of the Easter resurrection for our entire lives. Join me with, as we responsibly say uh, the Psalm 130, I invite you to join me in the bold words. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. As I lead us in this unison prayer, it's broken up into three sections. As we finish one section, let's just pause and reflect on what we've just prayed. And then I'll begin this again and we'll finish the second and then we'll pause and then we'll finish up. And then there will be a time for us to pray, to pray silently. But if you want to pray out loud, you're more than welcome to. Remember, as you're communicating between you and God. It's not a, something that we have to perform. It's not something we have to do perfect. It's just a prayer, a conversation between you and God, entrusting into God's care our needs, our hopes, our wants, our dreams. Let us pray. Oh God, in this season of Lent, we are reminded of our own difficulties and struggles. Sometimes the way has seemed too dark. Sometimes we feel like our lives has been marked by such grief and pain we don't see how our circumstances can ever change. But in our weaknesses, we ask that you would be strong on our behalf. Lord, rise within us. 
Let your spirit shine out of every broken place we've walked through and fill us with hope. O oh God, allow your power to be manifest through our own weaknesses so that others will recognize it is you who is at work on our behalf. We ask that you trade the ashes of our lives for the beauty of your presence. Trade our mourning and grief for the joy and gladness from your spirit. Trade our despair for hope and praise. We choose to give you thanks this night and believe that this season of darkness will fade. O oh God, thank you for being with us in whatever we face. Thank you that you are greater than these challenges we must endure. Give us faith in this season of Lent to believe and know you still have good in store for the future. We give you thanks for the promises that you make all things new. In Jesus' name, amen. I invite you now to a time to continue in prayer. Silently, or if you want to offer prayers, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And then I will close us.
God, hear our prayers. Grateful we are, O oh God, that you have met us here, that you have spoken into our hearts and our minds and our very souls. Thank you for your words of hope, both on the page translated into English for our, on our behalf, but thank you that as we heard the words sung in German, that we're reminded that your news, your good news, oh God, in Jesus, is good news for, for every tribe, every nation, every people around the world. That's good news, and it's good news for us all. That you came, oh Jesus, into the world. You, you God, became flesh, dwelt among us, sent. Born of human mother and father. Lived a life that we might emulate. And walked to the cross for us. And then rose again. Thank you that we can know that. And we can believe that and we can find our hope in that. And we can live out that hope for the whole world. So God, as we join this Lenten journey or as we continue on this Lenten journey, remind us that it's about us seeking you. It's about our relationship with you. It's, a, it's about giving up something that represents a, a desire to grow closer to you. So it's about us as well. And the giving of alms is a reminder that it's about us caring well for the world. This journey of Lent is about your call upon us and the grace and mercy you give us. So God, help us to know that in a way that it transforms us. So God, hear our prayers. Offer this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. And so my friends, may God bless you and keep you May God's face shut upon you and be gracious to you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you his peace tonight as you continue on this Lenten journey and every night. Amen. Go in peace. <laughs>